Hey, I'm on the first part of my workout for this weekend. Um, it's just an eight mile run. Now I'm gonna do like a 12 or 13 mile hike after that, up the mountain. Um, this is gonna be my last big workout for this training cycle. I'm gonna start to taper off now. Just kinda go through a recovery cycle before the race. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Yeah, I'm just starting off the hiking portion of my workout now. Got my backpack. Gonna hike Bartlett Trail up to the Greenhorn Peak again. So 12,000 feet again. So uh, yeah, we'll see you again in a little bit. This is what the trail looks like here. When I came through here like a month ago, this thing was all overgrown with these oak bushes. And uh, it was like, it really it was really bad they were brushing up against you and scratching you the whole time and everything and some like trail riding horse horse group came through here recently and did a bunch of trail maintenance and really cleared this stuff out nice so i wish i knew the name of them um but i just want to give a shout out to that group i don't know that's pretty pretty badass that they they do that because this trail is so much nicer now yeah, I made it up here to the top of the Greenhorn. This is actually a different peak than the one. I've never been to this peak before. This like, appears to be the highest one, so that's kind of cool. There's another one right there. There's the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Over there is where I was last weekend. There's the Spanish Peaks over there. Time to eat some snacks, take some caffeine, head on down. They don't know me, son! Who's gonna carry the boats? Well, David Goggins action for you. Guys, last time I did this trail, it was like super overgrown with these like oak bushes everywhere. And it would just like rub up against you and scratch you on the way down. And uh, this organization called La Vida Trails came in and cleared it all out. And it is beautiful now. It's like pristine, easy hiking. It's pretty awesome. So shout out to La Vida Trails for clearing this trail up and doing maintenance on it. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, so I was wrong about that hike. It was actually, I thought it was going to be 12 or 13 miles, and it ended up being 17 and a half miles. So between that and my eight mile run this morning, that brings my total to 25 and a half miles for the day. So it, and it felt like pretty easy. So I guess my training's working, so that's good. And that's the end of my training cycle now. So like, I'm just going to be doing easy stuff and like chilling eating steaks and stuff from here on out until the race so yeah 